Gun grease. When do you use it versus oil? Both are lubricants. Both of those lubricants have a job. That job is to reduce friction on moving parts. In addition, we also want those components to act as a protectant from things like corrosion, right? We want corrosion protection to not just be immediate, but long term. So both our grease and our liquid lubricant are synthetic. Both of these are lubes, but this is a liquid lubricant suspended with some binders. So technically speaking, grease is or was a liquid lubricant of some sort that is bound together to put it into a paste or a cream form. Ours is a pretty lightweight grease. And why would you want to use it? Well, it stays put much better. It's more prone to stick to certain surfaces that have a lot of reciprocation over a liquid. Maybe an area that you can't get to to add lubricant to as easily, such as maybe the inner workings of certain parts of a revolver or a bolt. So I'm going to show you some of the things I use grease for. And one of my favorite things besides lubrication duties is how it helps me clean up later. So I tend to use the grease in very high volume shooting applications. I'm going to grab my AR. So I'm going to show you really after some high volume shooting, how this grease creates a nice boundary layer. So lubricants, part of how they do their job is they're creating a boundary layer between metal components. And you can see this radiant bolt is a really nice item, by the way, but look at all that carbon just coming right off. You guys that shoot a lot of ARs, you know that cleaning carbon is a big pain in the butt. And look at how that is literally down to smooth, shiny metal there. If I grab a, one of these Q-tips, you know, there's barely anything coming off because that grease did a great job of creating that boundary layer of protection. I'm not showing you a whole cleaning really, but I want you to see how that grease does such a great job of protecting the components. All that carbon gets kind of locked into the grease rather than being caked on. Now, I want to show you another bolt uh, from another maker. And it's not the bolt's fault, but this bolt out of this rifle here did not have grease on it. It did have some lube on it, but it did not have grease on it. And I'll grab a fresh paper towel. These were both shot in a recent class of ours. You can see some of it's coming off, but if you look, and, and I'm sure your nice camera angle there is showing, you can see gunk just stuck all over this. So what is beautiful is that that grease creates that boundary layer of protection. That's one of my favorite uses for the grease. Something else I use the grease for on my carry guns, like I carry this gun, I use the grease on the rails. Pro tip, put your finger on the cap, and give it a shake because there are separate components in grease and if it sits for a while, um, mixing it up is not a bad thing. One of my favorite spots for grease would be on the rails of my carry pistol. You don't need a lot, put a few spots on there. And because it's a little heavier uh, viscosity wise than oil, as this gun is oriented down in the holster, it's gonna be less prone to wanting to run off the gun, which for me is Great. You could also do that on the inside of the rails. And of course, we sell it in this handy dandy syringe, so it's easy to apply. You don't want to overdo it, but I do like to keep my stuff wet. There we go. Ooh, nice and smooth. So when I am lubing up a bolt with grease before it goes back into the gun. I literally, guys freak out, they'll see me do this in class. I'll take that bolt after it's somewhat clean, or it could be like a mid training, and I literally wipe it down like this. And this might seem like a lot of lubricant. You just saw how easily the part cleaned up, and it's because we have this nice boundary layer. For some reason, people freak out and they think that's too much. It's going to attract dirt. Dirt's going to be attracted either way, like you saw here. The difference is all that carbon is going to get 
put into that layer instead of baked onto the part like on this bolt here. And you saw how easily it wiped away. It's a win-win. You get the boundary protection, the corrosion protection, you get the lubrication to keep the parts nice and slick, but then cleanup becomes a breeze. Gunfighter gun grease. Get accustomed now to drawing that pistol quick, drawing that pistol quick and getting a hit. So it's not just, it's not just drawing quickly and then re refining a sight picture it's missing. Step up. Identify. <laughs> 